The question is, what's, you know, what's the big thing happening right now, and especially how you feel? You have to keep that right close yes. to that kissing. So this year, um, we, uh, we transitioned into uh, from, uh, from a, a store business that had a physical retail location, and um, to, to make a long story short, we lost the lease on the 40, 45 year um, term that we had in this one particular building, me and my dad. And so, so uh, this past year, you took over, you went from a, you were in a building, 45 year lease, you lost it. And so you had to transition. Yes. And so we had to transition on the fly, um, unexpectedly, to, uh, to just becoming an online business. Yeah, first we had to tear it down and get everything out of there, which was pretty emotional. So you tore it? You tore it down. You tore it. Yeah, it took out all the structures and everything. And you had to put everything into it. And put everything in, into instead, well, to move it. Into a warehouse? Yeah, and then we had to, we, we, we brought it to another location to, and um, stored it in more of a warehouse format, so we had to put that So you moved all that stuff. Into a warehouse. Yes. And so during that time, we also lost phone and um, internet in the new location for a month and a half. Uh, a month and a half, no phone, no internet. Right. In an online business. Lost your phone internet anywhere while being an online business. While being an online business, yes. So um, in the midst of that, we were able to get the internet back up. And, um, and then at that point, I realized we had a social media crisis. So you have the internet working again, but then you realize you had a social media crisis. Yes, or a media crisis. Um, because when you have a physical location, everybody wrote articles, how we're closed, and that they, they were celebrating our existence being there for 45 years. So, so when you closed, there were articles about you celebrating. Because you were there for 45 years. Yes. And they figured because they're physically gone, they're gone. But they're not. They're gone online. <laughs> so when you old, when you Googled my business, they had ten articles, um, you know, starting from uh, in New York, New Yorker magazine and different other places that said our cove is now closed and out of business. Okay, so if I Googled you, I get ten articles about business and great business, New York magazine, and it's closed. It's, it's closed. closed. Okay. You are to state that it's closed. It's closed. Got it. But it's not. <laughs> but it's not. <laughs> we still have the online business, but the customers didn't see it that way, so we had a huge crisis. <laughs> you had a huge crisis. Yes. Okay, so just, and let's put some feelings in there right now. How are you feeling in the midst of all that? I was feeling, um, I was feeling terribly, um, I guess, to a certain degree, embarrassed because I had to ask these people to take down these articles. Mm -hmm. Embarrassed. But they go to the last and take down the articles. That they wrote and spent a lot of time writing, and I didn't think of the repercussions on the other side. Because you were embarrassed because you were not thinking about the repercussions for them, and all they had to do was write the articles. Right. <coughs> and so then after that, Basically, um, we had to, it, it really hurt our sales, so, you know, an associate of mine was like, get, get up, put up that Amazon business right now, on the fly. And I'm like, but I don't know how to do that. So associate's saying, put up on Amazon. Put everything that I have up. Put everything you have on Amazon. Associate's saying. Yes. So, I'm um, just feeling, you're saying, I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to do that. I don't know. And What's so, the feeling with that? I was feeling terribly. Um, Overwhelmed, and anxious, and overextended, and just uh, pushed, pushed to my limit. Right. So you uh, overwhelmed, anxious, pushed to the limit. That was the thing. Yeah, that was it. And so uh, we we got that. We I learned to do this on the fly. I put up put up the Amazon store. I put it up on the fly. I was able to pull this off somehow. Put it up. Amazon side on. 
and I picked up. It, it picked it picked up, so I was relatively happy. But then um, I realized um, that we needed to go in a different direction with our website. I figured we had a new location, um, and um, this was the time to start everything new. Okay. So if things pick up, then you realize you need to go in a new direction. New direction, totally new website, brand totally new, website. totally brand state of the art. You know that could that could plug in with the Amazon store. Yeah. And so, at that point, I felt good. So, there we are. Website, I felt, sorry, I felt starting to feel hopeful. Hopeful? Very hopeful. No. Yeah, I felt, I felt, I felt like, wow, this, this is what we need to do. And so I, I interviewed some web developers, and we, me and my father picked a guy. Okay. So you're excited? Hopeful? You're the guy? Out of these web developers? And we put up the website, and Google totally ignored it. All right, so I put up this website, and it didn't come. It just, it, yeah, we built it, they didn't come. Does that mean you can't go down? What, what, what's the feelings with that? So at this particular point now, now I'm in despair at this point. Now I'm in despair, and that's it. There were many days where I just would press the students button for like, Repeatedly for about two hours. At this point, you're feeling despair. It's almost time. And so you're not getting out of bed. You're like pushing these people like a couple hours. Because I, I just felt the crushing weight that I, I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't face the demand that, that, that life was demanding of me. I was defeated. So, you can't get up because you're feeling overwhelmed, man. Defeated. The world just defeated. And um, after after many weeks of this, I realized, you know, I can't. I, I got. I, I've got to. I've got to accumulate some strength and, and, and face this. So there was no real answer. We're still not sure exactly why Google is ignoring the site. Um, we're, we're trying to figure out, we're kind of backtracking. We're, we're in a backtracking process. Uh -huh. you're trying to figure out why you aren't getting it. Right. But the good news was is that my Amazon and eBay business, the one that I had started weeks back, is now expanding at a very rapid rate. So it's kind of taking place where the website taking 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 the place of it. Amazon and eBay is is happening actually. It's happening. You don't even know what we're doing. Yeah. It's kind of it's kind of helping out the thing. Yes. that in the midst of all of this that, that God was with me and that I had nothing to be afraid of and that in time he was going to turn it around in his time and his way. You think you don't want to say through all of this. It sounds like that was your that you realize God is Yes. Yes. Even if it doesn't turn out the way you expect to in the end, share with me, just share with people you had said to me. I said to myself, uh, through this whole process of, of uh, I realized to some degree I hit my wall through this whole experience. It was a bit of a wall for me. And then so I was determined not to become bitter, but better. And I opened up my heart to God and gave Him access to everything. And if my business fails and falls to the ground and tomorrow I go there and everything is taken away from me, 
I like the person that I've become. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much.